Hi everyone, this is Jamie Sorensen here at Two Peas in a Bucket with another weekly warehouse walk showing you new products in the warehouse. Congrats to Joy BR, she is our winner from last week. Um, thanks so much for commenting and watching. A new basic gray goodie is on your way. Um, so we have some new Martha Stewart punches. Let's dive right in. We're going to start out. Um, this is the Laurel Leaf Punch Around the Page. So if you're not familiar with these, as you can see from the picture, it comes with two punches, an edge punch and a corner punch, so you can create your own custom die cut pieces. This is the French scroll around the page, punch around the page, I'm sorry. Swirling lace. And down here, this is the bubble bath. This is ribbon loop. Cherry Blossom, this is Bangle Chain, Diamond French, Diamond Fence, excuse me, this is Garden Gate, and, whoa, I'm crawling on my hands and knees down here, this is um, Cherry Blossom, and then we have one other, I'm sorry, two other, this is the um, Blossom Eyelet, and lastly, the Scroll Heart. So um, these are, these past few ones I've shown you are really deep. Um, they're nice and sturdy. So, always new designs being added for the Martha Stewart Punch selection. Now I have some stamps to show you. New from Hero Arts. Um, there is the polka dot person in the wood mounted stamps. Um, here's the girl and then here's the guy in the plaid pattern. Um, if you watch the Nicole McGuark's new video series from start to finish, she used this punch here, the plaid girl. Um, so now we're kind of moving into the alphabet sets. Um, that last one I showed you was Legacy Letters. This is, if I can see it, Copper Plate. So these are nice. They come with a couple of designs as well as the alphabets. This is Garamond Wood. Copper Plate Wood. This is the Garamond Wood in the letter. So we have to search for either the number or the letter because they have the same style name and then we have some more up here these are the background this is a chairs pattern flower text this is an envelope pattern I like that they've used a really um, everyday kind of pattern we see on the inside of business envelopes and made it into a fun design in the telephone background. There are other new Hero Art stamps. Um, be sure to check those out as well. And I have new Fancy Pants and Echo Park to show you as well. All right, so now I have with me um, the Fancy Pants Valentine's collection. It's a really cute, fun collection. It's called Love Birds, and it has this great yellow um, aqua and red and pink mixed in and it brings in um, it's these swirls which Fancy Pants does a lot and then all of these fun little um, characters and a hearts of course this one is called Birds on a Wire and I love the scene that they've created across the top there nice illustrated designs as well as just basic patterns. That was called Love Dots. This is Kissin' Me. And this frog, its tongue is catching a heart that wants to fly away. I think it's kind of cute. This is Love Song. This is Loves Me, Loves Me Not. Nice that they have just a plain solid with a nice texture to it. This one is called Sending My Love. And this is really cute. I love how the hearts are falling out of this old fashioned bicycle. True Love.
I love the doodly, doodly pattern. Reminds me of school when I would have a crush on a boy and doodle in my notebook. Um, this one is called Circle of Love. This one is called Only One. More doodles and patterns. And then this one is really fun. This is the Lovebirds cards. And these could be cut up and given as Valentine's, which is what they're intended for. Um, I'll show you the back quickly. They have the to and from area. I really like the turtles. I think they're very cute. This little turtle has eyelashes. And how could you resist a face like that? Won't you please be mine? Very cute. Okay, this one is called Lovebird Strips. Nice yellow damask on the back. This is the Lovebirds die cut. And it is one sided. And there's more patterns to show you up here. Um, this is the other die cut piece. There's a nice subtle heart in the middle. And they have that nice gold and it kind of looks like a sun. They have little flares around the edge. I've told some of the, in, um, the embellishments. Um, this is a kit, the Valentine's card kit. It comes with 24 cards and envelopes and a sticker sheet. Um, so those same designs that I showed you in the single pattern sheet, but this one is a kit and includes the sealers and the envelopes. Here is what the sealers would look like if you bought it by itself. So a nice variety. And then there are um, two other element sticker sheets. This is the um, Lovebird Alpha, and they have a nice font there where some, some of the letters have little filigree coming off of it. And more of the elements, the nice border and lots of cute little designs. Okay, all right, let's move on now to Echo Park. Um, we have the Echo Park Little Girl collection that came in. I'm going to show you the element sticker sheet first as it kind of gives you an overall idea of what this collection is like. It has cupcakes, little outfits, lots of teapots and teacups, and then some other things that could certainly be used for older girl, not just little girl, pages and projects. This is the alphabet set that goes with it. It's a nice variety. Um, a script font and more of a typewriter and then the nice big pattern with a scallop border. Okay, let's start from the top now. Um, this is called Laundry Lucy. I love the little hearts. It's kind of a nice little subtle pink on that orange background. This is called Susie Stripe. And they've um, made up the patterns in quadrants there, which is nice. And here's your stripe. This is Cupcake Casey. Lots of cute little cupcakes. Some are upside down, some are right side up. And then I love this big yellow heart pattern. Reminds me of stationery I had when I was little. Okay, this is Betty Bird. This one is Sally Stitches. I like that the lines here are not perfectly straight. This is Cindy Circles. Danielle Doily. A nice big doily pattern. I like that some of these, the B sides are just for plain basic patterns. This one is called Chloe crowns. This one is called journaling cards. I'll show you the journaling cards, but I like how this heart is not perfectly straight. Some of them are a little crooked. And then here are the journaling cards that come with it. So it would be fun to make for cards as well as little journaling pieces. This is Madison plaid. 
And then I showed you the element stickers. Let me show you. They have come out with um, the cart more plain solid patterns. I'm sorry, not patterns, but solids. That one was what's called raspberry grape. This one is blush leaf. And the last one feel here is teal and canary. All right, so that is it for this week. Thanks so much for joining us. And don't forget to leave a comment on my two-piece blog for your chance to win one of the products I've shown you today. Thanks and have a great week.